हेलो रिवन इन दिस वीडियो वी विल डिस्कस द होल क्वेश्चन ऑफ आई मेट मैथ दिस सेशन एंड कम टू क्वेश्चन नंबर फिफ्टी थ्री इन दिस क्वेश्चन ए कार स्टार्ट एट ए पॉइंट एक्स इट ट्रेवल्स थ्री किलोमीटर ड्यू ईस्ट एंड फोर किलोमीटर ड्यू साउथ एंड देन सिक्स किलोमीटर ड्यू वेस्ट एंड फाइनली एट किलोमीटर ड्यू नॉर्थ इन दिस क्वेश्चन वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट द डिस्टेंस बिटवीन पॉइंट एक्स एंड द फाइनल एंड पॉइंट ऑफ द जर्नी and assumptions are all distance move at a flat horizontal surface and the point x is on equator and uh, ignore any curvature of the earth and these are options uh, now come to explanation the simplicity i draw this graph in which from this point x 3 km due east and from this point 4 km due south and from this point 6 km due west and from this point we have 8 km due north Actually, in this question, we have to find out the distance between point X and the final point of journey. That is, we have to find out this distance. And we notice that uh, this is a right angle triangle in which this 90 degree and say this angle theta. For this angle theta, uh, this side work as perpendicular, and this side work as base, and this side work as hypotenuse. And we use Pythagoras theorem. This implies that uh, uh, hypotenuse square is equals to perpendicular square plus base square. That is, hypotenuse square is equals to four square plus three square, which is equals to sixteen plus nine. That is twenty-five. As we know that if uh, x square is equals to a square, this implies that x is equals to plus minus a. From this rule, this implies that hypotenuse equals to plus minus five. But we know that side is always positive five. That is this side. Work as five kilometer. Now, from given option, option B, option C, D, and E are incorrect, and option A is correct. Now so come to question number fifty-five of five minute, and in this question, which one of the following is an expression for the mean of x upon three, comma x, and x plus six? And actually, we have three observations here, and these are option. Uh, as we know that uh, mean are many types in which uh, geometric mean arithmetic mean and harmonic mean are popular but from these options we notice that uh, arithmetic mean is the best choice for this mean now come to explanation as you know that if we have uh, n observations then arithmetic mean of these n observations is sum of all these observations upon n But in our case, we have only three observations. This implies that n is equals to three. So arithmetic mean is equals to sum of these observations upon three. Now for simplicity, which is equals to three into x upon three plus x plus x plus six upon three into three. This implies that this three multiply inside that is x plus three x plus three x plus eighteen upon nine. This implies that seven x plus eighteen upon nine. That is seven x plus eighteen upon nine. This implies that uh, option A incorrect, option B incorrect, C incorrect, and E incorrect. Option D is correct. Now come to question number fifty-six of five minute, and in this question, what is the gradient of a straight line which passing through the point with coordinates are? Two comma minus three and minus one comma six. Now these are option. Now come to explanation of this question. Question recall some result of geometry. As you know that gradient of a straight line L means slope of the straight line L. And result second is if we have two point with coordinate x one comma y one and x two comma y two of a straight line L. Then in this case, slope of the straight line L is equals to y two minus y one upon x two minus x one. Use this result or use this result. That is y one minus y two upon x one minus x two. In our question, we have two points. Say this point x one comma y one, and say x two comma y two. Gradient of the uh, straight line L is equals to y two minus y one. That is Six minus minus three upon x two minus x one that is minus one minus two equals to six plus three upon minus three. This implies that nine upon minus three this equals to minus three. Now come to options. Option A, B, D, and E are incorrect. 
दैट इज ऑप्शन सी इज करेक्ट फिफ्टी सेवन ऑफ फाइव मेट एंड इन दिस क्वेश्चन गिवन दैट लॉग ऑफ सेवन विद बेस टेन इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स लॉग ऑफ टू इज इक्वल्स टू वाई एंड लॉग ऑफ थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू जेड इन दिस क्वेश्चन लॉग ऑफ फोर्टीन अपॉन थ्री विद बेस टेन एक्सप्रेस इन टर्म ऑफ एक्स वाई एंड जेड दिज आर ऑप्शन फॉर दिस क्वेश्चन वी यूज टू रिजल्ट दैट इज लोगथम ऑफ एक्स इन टू वाई इज इक्वल्स टू लॉग ऑफ एक्स प्लस लॉग ऑफ वाई एंड लॉग ऑफ एक्स अपॉन वाई इज इक्वल्स टू लॉग रिथम ऑफ एक्स माइनस लॉग रिथम ऑफ वाई नाउ कम टू एक्सप्लेनेशन एज वी नो दैट फ्रॉम द गिवन क्वेश्चन लॉग ऑफ सेवन इज इक्वल्स टू एक्स लॉग ऑफ टू इज इक्वल्स टू वाई एंड लॉग ऑफ थ्री इज इक्वल्स टू जेड नाउ फ्रॉम गिवन क्वेश्चन लॉग ऑफ फोर्टीन अपॉन थ्री विद बेस टेन इज इक्वल्स टू यूजिंग रिजल्ट सेकेंड लॉग ऑफ फोर्टीन माइनस लॉग ऑफ थ्री नोट दिस इक्वेशन वन नाउ as you know that 14 is equals to 2 into 7 by using its uh, unique factor addition this implies that uh, log of 14 is equals to using result first that is log of 2 into 7 this implies that log of 2 plus log of 7 say this equation second from equation first and second we have uh, log of 14 upon 3 is equals to log of 2 plus log of 7 minus log of 3 from given question we have uh, log of 2 is equals to y and log of 7 is equals to x and uh, log of 3 is equals to z this equals to log of 14 upon 3 is equals to x plus y minus z from given question explanation we have uh, logarithm of 14 upon 3 with base 10 is equals to x plus y minus z this implies that option a b incorrect option d incorrect and option e incorrect that is option c is correct now come to question number 60 of i met and in this question how many ways are there to order the letter a a b b c and for example a c a b b and a a b b c are two ways actually the wording of this given question is in this question we have to find out the number of arrangement of the word a a b b c and these are option now come to explanation uh, recall that uh, in permutation and combination let we have n letter word in which p letters are alike and q letters are alike then in this case number of possible arrangement of this n letter word is equals to n factorial upon p factorial into q factorial here for n belongs to natural number that is 1 2 3 that is n factorial means n into n minus one into n minus two, so on three into two into one, and zero factored means one. Now in our case, that is given word is a a b b c. It is five letter word in which a is repeated two time and b is repeated two time. This implies that number of possible arrangement is equals to five factorial upon two factorial into two factorial. This implies that five into four into three into two into one upon two into one into two into one. This implies that this two and this two four cut and we left four into three into two into one. That is fifteen into two options. Option A, B, C, and D are incorrect, and option E is correct. <laughs>